Suppose t of n is 4 times t of n by 2 plus n square times the square root of n. What does master theorem tell us about the solution to this recurrence? A here is 4, B is 2, A is this coefficient, B is this coefficient, and f of n is n squared times the square root of n, which can be written as n to the power 2 plus half. or n raised to the power 2.5. n to the power log of a base b is n raised to the power log base 2 of 4. And this is n square because 2 to the power 2 is 4. Now if we compare this function n to, n to the power log base b of a with f of n, we find that f of n is polynomially larger than n to the power log base b of a. So we are again in case 3 of master theorem where f of n is polynomially larger than this function n to the power log base b of a. Now since f of n has this clean form n to the power 2.5, we have proved when we discussed case 3 of master theorem earlier, we proved that for such clean forms of f of n, where f of n is given to be equal to some constant times n to the power log base b of a plus epsilon for some epsilon greater than 0. If f of n has this specific form, we don't need to check the regularity condition because we prove there that the common ratio will be less than 1. So we can directly say by case 3 of master theorem, P of n is theta of f of n. And f of n here is n to the power 2.5. So T of n is theta of n square root n or n to the power 2.5. What if T of n is given to be four times t of n by three plus n log n. In this case, a is this coefficient four, b is this coefficient in the denominator here, three, and f of n is n log n. So if we compute n to the power log base b of a, we get n to the power log base 3 of 4. And if we compare this with f of n, what do we find? We find that this function is polynomially larger than this function. Why? Because firstly, this power of n log base 3 of 4 must be greater than 1 because log base 3 of 3 is 1. So, if we, if, so log base 4 of 3 must be greater than log base 3 of 3 and this we know is 1.
So in terms of the power of n, this is a larger power than 1. But this function has an extra log n term. But in spite of that, we can claim that this function is polynomially larger than this function because if we compute the ratio of n log n to n to the power log base 4 of 3, we're going to get log n divided by n to the power log base 3 of 4 minus 1. This value is going to be 0 point some number. It's going to be a positive number because this number is greater than 1. So if you subtract 1 from it, it's going to be 0 point some number. Uh, let's just assume it's, it's going to be 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 approximately. In the denominator here we have a power of n, even though it's a small power of n, and the numerator we have log n. Which of these functions grows faster? Well, because this is a power of n, this function will grow larger than log n. And how do we show that? Let's try to show that for any for any function n to the power a when a is greater than 0. What happens if we take the limit of n tending to infinity of log n divided by n to the power a? This is an infinity by infinity indeterminate form. And so we can use L'Hopital's rule and differentiate both the numerator and denominator independently. So if we differentiate the numerator, we get 1 by n. And if we differentiate the denominator, we get a times n to the power a minus 1. So this would be 1 divided by a, to the, a times n to the power a minus 1 plus 1, because this n will get multiplied here. And so we get 1 by a to 1 divided by a times n to the power a. Of course, we are taking the limit of this as n tends to infinity. And that limit is going to be 0. So, because for very large values of n, n to the power a, even if a is a very small power, you know, if you're taking, for example, the cube root of infinity, well, that's also going to be a very large number. It's going to be infinity. So, this shows that log n is in big O of n to the power a. In fact, it shows that log n is in little o of n to the power a. Right? Any power of n, any positive power of n, has a larger rate of growth than log n. So, going back to this recurrence, we can say that n log n is in big O of n to the power log base 4 of 3. Not just that, we can claim in fact that n log n is in big O of log uh, n to the power log base 3 of 4 minus some epsilon. Because this power of n is one point something. Let's just assume that it's 1.2. It doesn't matter what it exactly is. This power of n is 1. So, even if we let epsilon be 
point one. Okay, let let's say epsilon is point one. We will still get a power of one point two minus point one, which is one point one. Okay, we will get a power of one point one. Now, even this function is has a high as a has a larger rate of growth than n log n, because even if we cancel n on both sides, we'll end up with a power of n n to the power point one here and log n here, and we've shown that any power of n has a larger rate of growth than log n. Any positive power of n has a larger rate of growth than log n. So we can say here, therefore, that f of n is polynomially smaller than n to the power log of four base three. Right, because even after cutting off a factor of n to the power epsilon from log of from n to the power log of four base three, we are still getting a function which is dominant over f of n. So f of n therefore is in big O of n to the power log of a base b minus epsilon. So we are in case one of master theorem, and we know what the solution to this is. So, by case one of master theorem, p of n is theta of n to the power log of a base b. So this is the solution to this recurrence equation.